welcome back. My name is Natalie. This is my channel. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be a fun little two-day weekend vlog. Basically just showing you a day in my life, two days in my life living in New York. Uh, nothing like super crazy quintessential New York, but it feels very much like a quintessential weekend for me. <laughs> so I thought it would be the perfect glimpse into what I normally do on my weekends living in a fun place like New York. It's five o'clock, 5.30 by now. I just wrapped up my work day. I work from home on Fridays, which is great, honestly. I work like a hybrid model and I go into the office Wednesday, Thursday. And it is very, very, very nice not have to go into work on Monday or Friday or Tuesday. But it's really those like bookends that save you. It just feels so different. Anyways, wrapped up my work day. I'm getting ready to head out in the next 30 minutes. I actually do need to kind of get a move on. So I thought I would give you a quick little overview of like what I have planned, what I have going on. And then y'all will be along for the ride. So Friday night, ooh, yay, crazy Friday night. I actually am going to a party, <laughs> which feels very like classic Friday night vibes, but it's pretty low key, I think. Ooh, we'll see when we get there. I'm going to a friend's house swimming party over in Kipps Bay. I haven't spent a ton of time there, uh, but I'm excited to see his apartment. And there's kind of like a little crew of us that have all become friends through a different person Anyways, it doesn't matter. So there'll be a, a crew of people there tonight that I should know. Uh, and then of course, a healthy mix of people that I do not know. So I really gotta kinda put on my socializing cap. And that's like, like, that's like the lamest way I could have said that. I don't know how else to say it besides like, gear up buddy, you gotta, you gotta put on, you gotta put the face on, you know? But I will know people there. I'm actually meeting up with somebody earlier. We're gonna grab a drink in the neighborhood and then walk to the, to the party, so it'll be fine. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I am meeting up with a friend in the morning. We're gonna go to the gym, which I know is like not super exciting, but I'm excited <laughs> because I just signed up for this gym in my neighborhood, quite honestly, to get in shape for my soccer season that's coming up. Um, it's just an intramural league, but I got injured last time and I know it's because I was not in shape and my body was like very stressed. So that's why I joined this gym. But I just learned that my friend who lives in the neighborhood also goes to this gym. And so he was like, hey, let's work out together. And I'm like, please, you're a godsend. My biggest thing with just like generic gyms is that I just don't know what to do. I know how to use the machines. I know how to weight lift. But I don't like I get there and I'm like, what should I do? So I'm just gonna let him guide me through. <laughs> and then in the evening, I'm so excited. I'm going over to my friend Jackie's house. I'm gonna hang out with her, her girlfriend, and her other friend. Um, we, they're originally coworkers, and now we've, they're still coworkers. We still work together, but we've also become friends outside of work, which is the dream, honestly. So we're gonna go to Jackie's apartment and I've been to her place before and it, they have like the cutest dog and it's just so like chill and fun and they're really funny, great, kind people, friends who I love. So I'm excited. And that'll be, that'll, that'll be the little vlogs. I'm gonna take you with me. It's again, the perfect combination for me. Seeing people who I already know, who I'm friends with, who I love. <laughs> that comfort is important. Meeting new people though, I've been in a phase of life of meeting a lot of new people, it's been really great. And then also like having time for myself, which is really important. And then Sunday, which I'm not gonna probably vlog because that'll just be too many days, but I have all of Sunday wide, 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 wide open. So that's the plan, I gotta get going. It's late and it's gonna take me a little bit longer than expected because just where the trains are, it always is dependent on the trains is what I've learned. So I'm gonna get going, I gotta go change, try to eat something. I did my hair and makeup already. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I will see you out there. And by out there, I mean you will be coming with me. The final outfit. <laughs> 
buried underneath everything. But final look, getting ready to head out into 35 degree weather. I am scared, can you tell? Okay, off we go. I'm running slightly behind. I gotta go to Trader Joe's to get some plants. One plant as a housewarming gift because you just, you gotta bring something. Okay, I will see you very soon on the way. Here we go, now. about to run to the gym I am very behind in my morning in a rush very frazzled uh, just was out later than I expected last night woke up a lot later than I anticipated this morning my friend texted me about the gym I said yes because that was the plan so here we go we're about to go to the gym I'm unprepared I just had a banana and I'm out of breath because I just like tore apart my room to put on my workout clothes because I couldn't find them because I don't have a lot of them so good morning happy Saturday I am flustered, but this is good. I'm gonna go channel all my energy into this workout. Not how I anticipated starting today's vlog. I was like, I'm gonna have a chill, slow Saturday morning to myself. No, I, uh, okay, we're, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> And which is great because it's helpful but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk tomorrow <laughs> my legs are already so sore I'm taking advantage of the good lighting out here in my living room I was watching a little bit of drag race while I ate yeah I'm here I'm gonna chill for a little bit I need to shower do my hair for tonight the party last night was super fun it ended up being just like a pretty low-key house party I really didn't expect to be going to like the amount of house parties that I go to and I'm not like that makes me sound like I'm like a really big like socialite which I'm not but I guess I just didn't expect it to be such a big thing but it makes sense it's such a like convenient way of hanging out it's like having everybody over and this was a housewarming party so there's a specific purpose but uh, I feel like I go to a lot or like a decent amount and it's always really fun and I have like kind of a little group of friends that tend to throw them and that's really fun because it just ends up being like the same crew and so a couple of them were there last night who I was hanging out with and the person's housewarming party that I went to is my friend Bobby and we met playing dodgeball shout out to Bobby and shout out to dodgeball um, <laughs> it, was, it was so funny Every, you know you're mingling you're talking to new people you're like oh who do you know here you, do you know Bobby or do you know his roommate you know and I'm like, oh, I know Bobby from Dodgeball. And everyone's like, Dodgeball? Oh my God, what? You're playing Dodgeball? And then it just like becomes this whole thing. And it's like a fun story just to be like, yeah, actually we got second place in the league. <laughs> people are like, what? Like, it's such an easy conversation starter because you think of Dodgeball and people are like either super stoked, like, oh my God, I want to do that. Or they're like, oh my God, that sounds like, I don't want to get hit. And like, well, you, you do, <laughs> so. It was funny and it just made me think overall about how to like make friends as an adult in a new city 
and how challenging that had been previously and oddly enough i feel like new york has been the easiest place to make friends of like any city i've lived in and i do think some of that is season of life i'm going through i've been through a lot of change in the past year just like significant life change i don't have plans to leave the city anytime soon so there is a driving force of intentionally building like the community of people i want to surround myself with and that's exciting and fun and i do feel a lot more social and a lot more open here which is i mean it makes sense it's like that's why people move to the city because you can really be yourself and i do love that part about new york city is that no one cares about you like in the best way possible there's so much anonymity so i do think being in this space of starting over a new city i'm single making new friends in a new industry there's so much opportunity to me and connect but you do have to like have the mindset because you have to it is it is work you have to have the energy you have to have the motivation and the drive to be like okay i am gonna go do this i remember when my coworker, who is now my friend threw a party a housewarming party like back in the summer and i didn't know anybody this is gonna be our first time like hanging out outside of work and I remember just gearing up and being like, okay, I need to go to this to like show the effort of like, I want to be your friend and to meet people. Like I am going to go by, I'm going to this party by myself. I know one person and it's going to be fine. And it was like, like it, it was really great. And then they keep throwing these parties and I keep going. And now I've like met people through them and that's probably something I wouldn't have done in the past couple of years. I, and some of it comes from confidence and maybe a little bit of desperation. <laughs> like truly the only way to meet people and make friends is to put yourself out there. It is very much like dating. You gotta be vulnerable. And this is something that I found. Like people want, want friends, people wanna be friends. And I don't say that as like a tuning of my own horn, I say that in the sense of if you lead with vulnerability and what you want a lot of times people also want that the amount of times not the amount maybe like there's been a couple times where i've said to people who i've met like we should be friends and they're like yeah <laughs> I'm like, great and now we're friends <laughs> like or or i'm also in a soccer league so on top of dodgeball there was a season last fall where i was playing so many sports but it it's a really great way to meet people again i like walked into this league not knowing anybody and i was literally just like walking from field to field on the first day of the game like you guys this is the silver team and they're like no i'm like okay just keep going until i found them but eventually like we all became more friendly you know as the season went on and there was one person who i was talking to towards the end of the season and we hadn't really had a chance to like talk, like have a real conversation. And I was like, honestly, I just joined this league. I mean, I love playing soccer, but I'm also just trying to make friends. And he was like, me too. Like that's mainly why I joined. And I was like, okay, great. Why have we not been friends? <laughs> and so now we're friends. <laughs> and I think there's this like fear around making friends as an adult because it is harder to do. You don't, especially if you don't have like work in common or school in common. But people want and need friends and I think if you're okay to be vulnerable and just saying like I actually do need and want friends I think it's easier to find people who also feel the same way because it's such a everybody wants community and I think sometimes it's harder to admit as adults when you have so much else going on in your life you have a partner you have a job like it's like oh I don't have time to meet new people and it's like it, I mean it, it's work it's work it's putting yourself out there it is there's rejection some people do not want to be your friend and that's fine too or there's some people you hang out with and then you're like we're not gonna be friends and that's fine i have found that since that is something that i have been intentionally working on this year that i have been the most social i think i've been in my adult life i guess it's cool also to see the ways in which you can grow and lean into different parts of yourself that you didn't know as present like i have been considered more reserved and more introverted most of my life 
and I'm just kind of leaning into the exact opposite right now because it's what I need to do and it, it's been fun. That's what I think the craziest part of all of this for me is that it's not like pulling teeth. I'm not like, oh my God, I gotta go hang out with these people. I gotta go to this house ring party. I'm like very excited and actively making a lot of plans. And honestly, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of the ways that I've grown in this regard. And it's cool to see like a shift happening and whether or not this is a norm for me, whether or not it's like the inspiration of the city or maybe it's just this season of life where you know you put up like you put in a lot of work up front to make friends and then you find your community and things settle down a little bit either way i like know i can do it i know i am somebody who can make friends and that has been empowering and given me a lot of confidence because sometimes you go through periods of life where it's harder before i moved to new york i didn't have a lot of friends in the city i was living and that was really tough and coming here, I'm like, oh my God, there's so many people I could be friends with. And that's exciting. And I think that's that's been surprising that I am excited to socialize so much here. Like I am surprising myself in a good way. And I think it's important to recognize those things. Positive affirmation. I'm leaning into taking up space, being like proud and kind to myself. So I'm really, I'm really trying to acknowledge like this has historically been something that I wouldn't always do. Like I have my set friends and that's it. But it's like, no, I can do this. And I want to do this and it's fun. I don't know. Sometimes I just think about it and I'm like, who am I becoming here? It's like so cliche, you know, it's just like moves to a big city, changes everything about, <laughs> changes everything about myself. Lives in New York for almost one year as a completely different human. It's not true, I'm, I'm, I'm the same. But I do think different parts of myself have opened up here, which is partly why I wanted to get here in the first place because I, I just had a feeling that that would happen. It's why a lot of people come here, you know? It makes me very happy to do these vlogs because I basically just get to make montages of me and my friends. And I would be lying if I said that that was not a motivation for doing vlogs because it's a very big motivation. <laughs> I just will like rewatch the montages I make of my friends because it brings me a lot of joy. And I was like, if I'm, if that's the only reason I'm doing this, I'm okay with that because it makes me happy to see my friends. So that's, that's what this channel is really about. Just my friends. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go do some things that need to get done. I just saw an eyelash. Checking in, I am tired. I've hit my downward slope. I gotta rev back up. It'll be good, it'll be fun. I'm really excited. It's gonna be super chill. I just need to like rally a little bit. I'm a little tired, um, but I'm gonna go sit on the train for like 40 minutes. I'm heading into Greenwich, one train, a nice little walk. It is cold. It snowed on my walk to the gym. That was fun but it's just like snow flurries, so it won't stick. Um, okay, this is my last set plan that I have for the weekend with people. Tomorrow I have the whole day off, so I'm very excited to just like have an easy morning. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go hang out with friends, eat food, watch a great critically acclaimed movie that I am only five to eight years behind on. I also love that I just was talking about like how fun it is to be so social these days and now I'm like, I'm really tired. This is also what happens. I go through periods of like really intense socialization, not like, sorry, really intense periods of being social and making plans and then I'll just see nobody for a week. So really I should be working on a better balance. Um, something to keep in mind. I can just like feel it deep within, you know? Like I can feel it in my eyes. Can you see it in my eyes? It's just time for me to go to bed. Great, great weekend. Tonight was so much fun, very chill. 
laughed a lot, talked a lot. I didn't get too much footage just because of the nature of, we were literally were just like talking on a couch and then watching a movie. Um, but such a like surprisingly full, it wasn't surprising. This weekend was exactly what I thought it would be, but very fulfilling in a way where I feel tired and excited to just be alone tomorrow. I, I like, I don't even have coherent thoughts in my brain right now. I just feel like I'm floating into space. So that means it's time to go. This is, this is it. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this little two-day vlog. And I hope I will see you in a video very soon. Okay, see you next time.